ban the haters for extrusion and the injection. You can find me from Rob the Dead. Hi, this is Tiger from Rob the Dead. Today I want to bring you the ban haters for injection molding or uh, filament extruder. Here you can see, yeah. On the desk, you can find the zero. Different size haters and different materials. And let's get into details. Uh, you can find the, the SJ20 or SJ25 desktop filament extruder. We use a stainless steel band heater. We call it band, band heater, but uh, uh, this type of heater is clap type, yeah, right? You can see here is, yeah, is there is a clap uh, screw. Yeah. Uh, beside the stainless steel uh, band heater, uh, we use uh, a much uh, better uh, material like this. Uh, this one is the uh, uh, copper, is it copper or brass? Uh, we, we, we maybe call it brass. Uh, brass heater, uh, band heater. So the here you can find the other one. This one uh, is a dire uh, cast aluminum uh, heater. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, and this one, uh, you can find uh, it's quite similar with the uh, dire cast aluminum, but uh, inside uh, it's an uh, enclosure uh, ceramic uh, ceramic band heater. Yeah. So the ceramic band heater is the most expensive and uh, effective uh, band heater material. Uh, besides that is this kind of uh, brass uh, band heater. And also you can find this, this one is very special design, uh, which is flexible silicon rubber and band heater. Uh, you know, uh, silicon rubber flexible band heater is quite uh, suitable for uh, customized size or, or shape you know uh, it could be a barrel or it could be a, a very long strip uh, you can find this here it's just like a cap a cap right cup right uh, uh, as i know this cup uh, band heater are used for the mosquito uh, killer liquid. I mean, I mean, yeah, uh, for this kind of application. Uh, here you can see the collector of ceramic. Uh, it it read uh, two hundred and fifty. Uh, voltage and 10 current, uh, 10 amps current. You can see here the, the uh, brass uh, band heater, and we uh, uh, you can find there are uh, two uh, screws, but these screws are through. I mean, uh, so we can get touch uh, well. I mean, we just need to put this onto the band heater uh, because uh, wheel contact will get the, the band heater work, working uh, well because uh, the, the, the voltage of this band heater could be uh, like this one that is uh, this one that is 400 and uh, uh, you can see here the the is four hundred and twelve or uh, twenty voltage, so it's high uh, voltage band heater. So uh, uh, to make sure it's well collected, so there, there are two uh, 
uh, set uh, screws to screws the the wires. Your yeah, wheel contact will uh, get a better uh, result. Yeah. So uh, we better uh, get a wire through and clip both set screws. Uh, each need wire. All right, this one is not well down. Yeah, I just push through. Get it uh, first. Yeah. Okay. So it's well connected. Uh, So you you better click the, the to the uh, control controller. Uh, compared to uh, compared with the 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 stainless steel or the uh, die cast, uh, heater band heater the the brass heater. Uh, can be more powerful. Uh, I mean, uh, you can see this size is quite uh, uh, thin, uh, immense, uh, but uh, it can reach a 300 voltage. Uh, if you use the stainless steel uh, band here, it can't reach that uh, uh, voltage if the, the size is the same. So, uh, if you uh, if you want to say let's say if you want to have a, a voltage of 400 voltage uh, the the aluminum band heater or I mean this one aluminum die cast aluminum band heater or the uh, the uh, stainless steel band heater cannot reach but this one could be reached that uh, voltage. Also, the ceramic uh, band heater can reach the voltage you want. Uh, so, this uh, two uh, heat band heater, the, the price will be uh, much higher than the uh, stainless steel heater or the die cast band heaters. Also, the, uh, mentioned that uh, this flexible uh, silicon rubber band heater can be much um, more uh, flexible for customized requests. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in next video.